What's up everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause and this is DJC Game Studios. Whoa, I'm almost falling over there. How is everyone doing today? I have a special episode. That's right, it is episode two of DJC Does Tech. I know, right? This is where we take a serious approach on this show and stop being the silly and doing puns and having things fall over and touching the, the Christmas lights and hitting the microphone. What we're doing today is we are going to clean and restore another uh, vintage item. Now this was a joystick for the Atari 2600 and computer systems. Um, flight stick style, button on top, which is not pressing. Um, this is a self winder. So if you remember these back in the day, what you do is you pull your cord out. Isn't that cool? And then you just wind it back up like that. So these are really sought after. They go for a lot of money. Um, but you can see it's it's got some wear. We're gonna try to get this button working. And I think we know just a thing. So let's start. All right, here, let's get our uh, gloves on here just for protection. Get that grimy solutions. Oops. All right, so let's get this bad boy open. And see what's going on inside. Championship Electronics was the people that made this. Yeah. That's a long screw for that. There it is. Oh, we got uh, three more screws. This doesn't fit in there. This does. power tools. Oh, what? Why is it so strangely not wanting to... I got it open. <laughs> Be careful, you want to get this part off here. Set that down. And there is, so look at, there's the cord all wrapped right, around this cord. Man, look at that. And that goes right in there. So now, what we can do, solution mix it up of course I have my infamous witch hazel and some peroxide along with some saline solution look at look at all in here that is what you really and look at the grime. And work this as best as you can. There's a lot to do. See, down in here is where you get a lot of, of gunk, too. I mean, look at that. I mean, you're going to go through a ton of these. I don't want to show all of it. Okay, hold on. So we got this trigger, and so we're trying to get this button to work too, which is not, but that all has to do with the base. So after your solution, what you want to do is basically just take the mashed potatoes and put them right in the base. 
that's really going to help with pretty much anything with the joystick and the stuff sticking. So what you want to do is you just kind of pack it in there. I mean, and then what you can do is you press then it. Now what might happen is you might get some 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 coming through in the bottom, but not as bad. You want to make that a good seal. And then you're good to go. Voila. Well, there you have it. That is the best way to get those self-winding joysticks working perfectly for your computer system or your old school video game system. Join us next time on DJC Does Tech. Because we do it right, and we keep it serious. Please like, please subscribe, and gosh darn it, we'll see you for the next one.